Well, Lucas de Jong is in the world's uh, newsroom and joins us now. By the look of it, Lucas, you're about to get seriously hypercaffeinated. I'm going to be drinking some coffee after this, John. Some people love it and some people hate it, but some people are paying a lot more. Let's take a look at the price of coffee around the world. And in Beijing, people are paying around £2.75. That's where the story started. In Istanbul, £2.42. If we go over to Chicago and in America, where Starbucks, of course, started, that's around £2. And one of the cheapest cheapest we could find is in good old Mumbai, India, where it's £1.49. I'm joined by two guests right now, so we can talk a little bit more behind the whole coffee scenario with Starbucks. Lily Wang, who's our BBC's Chinese service editor, and Sharif Isla from the BBC's Turkish service. Lily, we'll start you off. There's your cup, because that's the most expensive. Now, Starbucks in China recorded a record profit recently, around about 32%, yet people in China still buy it. How are they getting away with it? Well, actually, the profit margin is not an issue here. People go there, I mean, especially middle class people go there. They're sort of enjoying kind of uh, atmosphere. You can say it's a life choice, it's a style uh, kind of thing. So people are not considering sort of profit margin when they're drinking a cup of coffee in Starbucks. And to be honest, and uh, of course, when you say they are uh, making a huge profit uh, by the state media and then there will be people angry about that um, but the, the the thing is if you see the Twitter or, I mean the Chinese micro blog and about 60,000 retweet and uh, over 30,000 something like 30,000 um, comments and most of most of them actually criticizing uh, CCTV by picking up this story. Let's talk about that because they did a 20 minute special a about it. You, you can put it down anytime you want. You don't need to touch it if you don't like it. Um, they did a 20 minute special on this. And how how's that being viewed by the public? Well, people were saying there are so many things that, that uh, CCTV can address. I mean, in just, um, there are high price of housing, high price of he uh, health care, and lots of other things, petrol, for example. And, and if you picking up a sort of cup of coffee, and to be honest, the Starbucks coffee, actually, it's not that expensive if you compare, if you compare it with any other coffee shop. I mean, if you go to a, a park in China, or go to a, um, any other street coffee shop, and you'll probably pay exactly the same or even more um, for a less better, uh, for a less sort of uh, good quality coffee. So people think, well, it's a cup of coffee, so what? what's a, what's a fuss? Somewhere that's not going to happen is in Turkey, because Turkish coffee culture is massive, isn't it? How is Starbucks viewed there? Well, as you said, the Turkish coffee culture is massive. I mean, even BBC Turkish, we every now and then will make some Turkish coffee. Well, Starbucks is not so much uh, viewed as a coffee place, but but rather a place to be for for the for the young and for the for the hip and trendy. So it's it, people go there more so to be seen, to be honest, and not necessarily to enjoy the coffee. And now, of course, that has caused a bit of a cultural backlash because now it's become a bit more difficult to find regular Turkish coffee in in some of the uh, cafes that you go to. However, uh, if you're if, if, still in Turkey, true coffee drinkers will, will prefer uh, Turkish coffee. And Sheriff, just quickly, if I offered you a lovely cup of 242 Istanbul Starbucks, what are people going to say to that? Well, it is actually a bit expensive um, when you convert it to Turkish lira. Uh, a cup of coffee, if you were to buy Turkish coffee, and we're talking about pence in that sense, in, in, when we were to convert back to the pounds. Um, so £2.40 or £2.42 uh, is, is a bit expensive for, 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 so on, on Turkish standards for the Turkish buying power. But however, as I said, I mean, it is a place to be. So you, know, you pay that extra for, for the societal reasons. Place to be, place to be seen. Lily, Sheriff, thank you very very much. John, we're about to drink some coffee. Back to you. Yeah, all wrong. It's tea time. Everyone knows that. Not a time for drinking coffee.